Hey guys, so I was on Facebook recently and there was an Epic Dash article titled 46 Life Hacks. And I noticed as I was reading through, a lot of these aren't life hacks. A lot of these are terrible. And I began to troll. Number one. Okay, this is not a life hack. You should leave those hangers at the store. What's a falling zipper? I've never, I've never had an, a falling zipper issue. My zippers have always been, you know, well maintained. They stay where they're supposed to be. Is that like a, is that a problem for a lot of people that I just don't know about? Because you can use frozen grapes for more than wine. I mean, what if there's kids that want it for grape juice, for example? Get out to any, any type of juice, I imagine it'd be very nice. You've got to cover those bowls with a paper towel or that sauce is going to spatter everywhere in that microwave. It's not a life hack. Those should be safety scissors. Those scissors could hurt, hurt a child. It's not a life hack, guys. It doesn't say what size pipe to use. Well, now you can't put the lid back on. It doesn't seem like much of a life hack to me. It seems like a counterproductive, you know, container destroying idea. Yeah, well, it doesn't mention that your house is now going to smell bad because of the vinegar. How do you like that? For this to be effective, you're going to have to buy a photocopier, which is more expensive than a power block, so kind of in the negative there. That's just a waste of perfectly good tea. You try and cook that tea later, it's going to taste like feed, I imagine. It's going to smell terrible. Okay, first of all, some people do steal red pens. Secondly, what if someone needs to borrow your red pen? And you've got a red pen with blue ink in it. Black ink, maybe. And this guy's gonna look like a real fool trying to correct papers with his blue ink. Well, you won't be able to receive calls or texts while you're doing that either, so... Here's to hoping you don't have any emergencies while you're playing a phone game. Well, that wet newspaper is gonna stick to the bottom of the trash can, so you're gonna have to clean it anyways. You can use a square shape. Just that hole in the middle is the important part. I mean, it doesn't have to be a circle. There's just no reason that tape should improve the image quality. Like, just clean your lens. Well, that's just a waste of a paper towel. Plus, now you've got to wipe the moisture off your beer. And this also doesn't work, I've tried it. Well, you can do that, but you're not going to be able to hammer the nail in all the way, so... The scissors actually work better for this. Okay, first thing, it doesn't work. Secondly, now your water's going to be hot and you won't want to drink it. What about the people who like the kernels? Well, that's great, except that now you've ruined a perfectly good walnut. The problem is that it reduces the amount of light you get from your lamp now by a lot. A spoon actually works better for this, and it's usually easier to find a spoon around your house. So you're saying the sign that says left is on the left? Wow, brilliant. It seems mostly just like reading, though. If you have a leaky bag, it's still going to drip. Now you've wasted a sponge. Yeah, then why do they have handles? Lights don't have handles. Could ruin your jeans. There's an overlap in the middle and it's kind of overhanging on the edges. At some point someone's probably going to need lotion and then you're going to look like a real jerk. You can actually sprinkle a little water on it and then uh, it'll actually dry faster and it works better than an ice cube. This one's just not a hack because tomatoes are gross. Well, now the handle's all gross and potentially very hot. Why would you need a coaster for a soft drink? And now what's going to hold your straw? There's a hard gross part at the end that just stays there if you open it the other way. It's just not true. A quick Google search will tell you that. Tried it. Also not true. Some clothes fold too tall and too wide for this to work. Who carries a TV with them while they're traveling and how are you supposed to plug it in when you're traveling everywhere? This only works with polo shirts. This would probably leave some gross cartilage in there that you could avoid by just leaving the bone in there. Well, it's fine if you want to get your bottle all gross and eggy. Plus, that can break the yolk. Well, it also stretches out the elastic in your socks and makes them not last as long. It's not a speaker at all, it's just redirecting the audio waves. The speaker's in the phone. Pretty sure we can actually see the dried battery acid there, just showing why this is a bad idea. It also ruins the prank. Yeah, it'll also keep you from receiving phone calls, texts, and data. Thanks for stopping by to watch me with Firewall 46 Life Hacks, and we'll catch you next time on Fox's Den. Over and...